Bill and Ben are two tank engine twins that work on the FAC controllers well away. The two work hard, but sometimes their mischievous deeds can get them into trouble. The two engines mean well, but sometimes they can go way too far. One day, Emily arrived at the quarry to take a train. She was in a hurry and didn't want to be late. Oh, Ben! Where are you guys? I need my train. Hello? <laughs> oh, we got a god. But yeah, it's the look on her face. <laughs> it's not fun, you two. Can you please tell me where my trucks are? Oh, it's over there on a siding. But if you want to get there faster, take the shortcut. It's quicker. Come on, Emily, we're gonna be late. Let's just do it. Right. Uh, okay, I'll take the shortcut. <laughs> okay. We're going at a good speed. I can see the docks in the distance. No one was hurt, but the bridge had collapsed and Emily had fallen into the drink. Meanwhile, at the docks, Edward had just finished delivering his local train. When he arrived, Salty had bad news. Arr, Edward, me matey. We've got a problem. What is it? Emily had an accident. She was supposed to deliver some stern, but she rode on a bridge that collapsed. And with that, Edward puffed away. He eventually arrived at the scene accident where he saw Emily perched on a flatbed and Harvey picking up the remaining rolling stock. Oh dear, what happened? I don't know. Bill and Ben told me about this shortcut. And... Nah, I should have known. Someone needs to put a stop to those engines' ways. Oh, don't worry. I'll go see them. I don't think they knew the bridge would collapse. So go easy on them, will you? Sure. With that, Edward made his way towards the quarry. The twins were resting the siding when they saw the wise old blue engine in the distance coming towards them. Before he had to scold us. Do you two know what you did? No. And Emily down an old bridge which collapsed with her on it. We didn't know, honest. I don't know. You both were responsible for Den and Dart's accident. I will have to watch over you two for a while. Edward spoke with the quarry manager and he agreed, and Edward stayed to watch over Bill and Ben for a week. The twins worked well and hard, but were upset. They felt like Edward was babysitting them, and they felt like they couldn't get away from him. At last, by the end of the week, the two reached their limit and met up in a siding near the chute. Edward is treating us like children. I know, and I'm sick of it. I'll say we pay a rent. You'll do no such thing. Oh, are you an adult and you better not? For what? 
our old town manager. Hey, Fergus. We promise. When Fergus and Hector left, the two devised a plan. The two found some old trucks with some faulty brakes and put it on the back of Edward's train. They knew that this journey would be difficult for Edward. And they couldn't help but grin devilish devilishly. The next day, Edward arrived to collect the train and had some word for Bill and Ben. Very impressed. You two have really come a long way. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. I talked with the manager, and he says you two will have a new coat of paint. What, really? You two both really deserve it for the hard work you've done. The twins' face turned a bright red. Well, looks like I have to get going. Bye, you two. We have to stop him. You think I don't know that? This is all your fault. Oh, no, don't blame me for you doing the thing. Put you on those trucks and forget it. We can pick him later. We've got to say that word. Meanwhile, Edward was making his way through Missy Valley when he felt something holding him back. Driver, is the guard's brake on? Edward looked out the cab only to see sparks coming from the two trucks trucks at the end of the train and he heard whistles of the stop the train stop the hard causing the trucks behind him to derail and to slide across the rock face cinders and ashes this is terrible we're so sorry we didn't mean it what do you mean We put some trucks with faulty bricks on your train. And you were watching us, and, and, we're sorry. Well, I'm glad you two came forward with the truth, but that doesn't... Edward was cut off by a rumbling sound. The sound grew louder and louder. Eventually, it turned out to be that there was a rock slide. Rock slide! The two acted fast. Strong change for attachment between Ben and Edward and a guard hopped into Edward's cab. The China Queen twins pulled and pulled and pulled until finally, Edward finally came back on track. And without haste, the three escaped the valley. Just in time. The three made it to the docks where Sir Topham Hat was waiting for them. I heard what happened at the valley, and I have to say, I am very disappointed in you two. This accident could have been worse, and you two just got out of punishment from your recent behavior. Now we'll stay in your sheds until further notice. The twins looked very glum. However, you did act fast and save Edward from a dangerous situation, so you will receive a new coat of paint. Thank you, sir. We're sorry, sir. And we're sorry to you, Edward. It's all right, and thank you for saving me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. But you guys have to learn that these things happen for a reason. I wouldn't have to watch you if you weren't so mischievous. I hope you two learn that retaliation isn't an answer for everything. And hopefully the twins did. Hopefully. Hopefully.